Hello everyone and welcome back to another brand new course and this course we will be learning how to deal with 3ds max modeling using 3ds max 2019 now to kick this off we're going to set a couple of settings before we start with the interface okay now follow along go to customize okay and switch to preferences go to preferences okay in the general panel there is the scene undo okay now all you have to do is to type 500 in this box to do the 500 um, undo or control Z now go to files you will notice there that in the window of auto back you will see two boxes over here the first one is the number of auto bags um, put three okay now the second one put 20 minutes now 3ds max is going to understand this like every 20 minutes it's going to create a new backup file okay like it's auto saving okay now let's go to viewport and uncheck the selection highlights okay i checked it in order in order to um, show you guys what does it do let's go to okay box let's draw something as you noticed guys that whenever i need i want to select or intend to select an object you notice that it's highlighted with this annoying color also when you um create a new object and intersect it with the other one you notice that when i want to select this one or move to mouse move the mouse to it it's also highlighted in an annoying way okay guys it's like um i don't really like it i don't recommend it so all i'm going to do is to go to customize preferences and uncheck the selection highlight here okay hit ok we are ready almost ready to go now we need to go to unit setup go to unit setup here now it might be on custom for you guys for me go to metric and choose centimeters okay we're going to to deal with our models um, in centimeters now let's break this interface down for you guys let's go to photoshop as you can see that um uh, this is the interface that i was working on okay now the first thing you need to know is this bar over here this is called the toolbar or the ribbon okay it has every single tool that we are going to go through um during our lessons now the second thing is this panel over here this one is the main panel for me okay guys now every single thing i want to model in 3ds max is going to start from these objects right over here so this one is the most important panel in 3ds max bear that in mind okay so it is the brain of 3ds max okay now let's go to the third bar which is the beneath one as you can see uh, this one is um, divided into three sections the first one is the camera control okay we control our camera settings from here now the second one is the animation settings we're not going to go through this at all uh, the third one is coding or scripting we are going to learn just a few simple things about coding in 3ds max okay now the most important thing in this interface is this one which is the workspace as you can see guys the workspace is also divided into four sections four different sections okay one two three four now the first one um as you can see it's showing the perspective okay now these two settings are related to the viewport over here the standard is related to the way 3ds max shows objects and the second one is related to the atmosphere okay guys we're not going to go through all of them we're going to work only the 
left one which is the most important one okay now as you can see that um, this window is showing the perspective the one above is showing the front this one is showing the top and this one is showing the left now are we going to deal with all of these uh, windows actually not we're going to go through only one and expand this one into a bigger or to fit our screen just like this way okay now after that we will move from um, a viewport to another like from perspective to front elevation or top or left elevation etc okay guys we're going to learn that just in a couple of minutes now this is every single thing about the interface nothing hard and nothing to misunderstand now as you can see that it's the same here um, the first thing you need to do is to expand this window the first thing I do whenever I open or start up my um, uh, 3ds max is I expand this window using the alt hold the alt press W and it's expanded as you can see there's the perspective window I can go wherever I want how did I expand it using the alt and W okay now let's go through a couple of settings or let's explain some more um, as you can see or as I mentioned that um, this panel is the most important thing in 3ds max now we're not going to learn how to model right now we're going to just know how to handle it okay before we learn how to work on it now this main panel is divided into a couple of sections the first one are those icons over here we're only going to work with the first two icons which are the create and modify okay as you can see guys here is the create and modify whenever i create an object and i want to modify it i go directly to the second one over here okay guys so every single thing starts from create ending with the modified okay guys you got it great now the other are the below icons over here are our shapes okay our objects that we are going to um, create over here now as you can see that it's divided into a couple of sections the first one or the first icon refers to 3d objects okay the second one to 2d objects now the next two icons are the lighting and the camera those two uh, we're not going to go through uh, during our lessons because they are related to V-Ray plugin, okay? So for now, we are not going to go through them. Uh, the last one is the helpers, okay? Now, let's go through the first one, the 3D. Whenever you choose the 3D, you'll notice that there are a couple of settings over here or a couple of objects to be specific, like for example, the box. Okay, let's draw a box over here, maybe um, a sphere, the cylinder, or maybe a pyramid. Okay, uh, what do you notice guys, that these objects are the very basic shapes in 3ds Max, okay? So our professional modeling is going to start with the basic shapes now what if i want to go to another shapes different shapes from here all you have to do is to open this window as you can see um, there are a couple of um, uh, let's see couple of groups okay now every single one has um, different objects but for us we're going to deal with the first three um, groups over here now I'm not going to start from here I'll be carry on from here now the first one as we mentioned is the 3d objects the second one 
refers to 2D objects like for example the line and circle rectangle for example as you can see maybe the arc okay these are um, 2D objects just like any 2D software now the third one as we mentioned is the light and camera we're not going to go through them we're going to talk about um, just two objects from helpers so let's go here let's go to helpers we're going to use only the tape and the compass okay the tape is to measure distances or heights okay now the compass is to show the north sign for my project as you can see if i want to know where's the north so here it is you have to bear in mind that this object does not appear in our render okay it's just um uh, let me say a guideline or a guide uh, object now let's move on to our next step which is here as you can see that each group of these over here has a shortcut like g s l c or h okay which are the first letter of every single word here now these shortcuts are related to hiding now how does it work whenever you hold the shift key and press one of these letters over here or buttons it's going to hide um, the object related to this letter like for example I'm going to hold the shift and the press G so it's going to hide every geometry object okay whenever I hold the shift and press S it's going to hide every 2d object let's try this out now hold the shift and press G you'll notice that every single object from the geometry category it has been hidden okay guys so shift and G is going to appear again okay guys so similar to, to the object shift s and here they are shift s again and they will appear one more time the helpers shift h and it has disappeared shift h to unhide it again now that's how it works simply actually let's go through these two categories over here the first one is the standard which means the standard objects um, as I mentioned before that 3ds Max only provides um, the very basic shapes over here to start from okay now what if I um, went to extended primitives now let's go here the difference between the standard and extended that the extended are a little bit modified like for example the box you're not going to find any box here except the chamfer box okay so it's something edited or modified now I'm going to draw a normal box but this uh, does not end with um, sharp edges it's going to has a little bit of fillet okay guys now this is the chamfer box and this one is a normal one so extended and standard you can go through each one of these um, objects on your own guys and try it out in order to see um, some different choices okay now that's great now let's move on to um, our next part of our lesson which is going to be elevations how can I move from elevation to another one now simply you'll notice that going through elevations is going to be uh, using the first letter of each word like for example if i want to go to perspective i'm going to hit p if i want to go to top i hit t b is for the bottom and vr is for the right elevation 
L is for the left elevation, VK is for the back elevation, and F for the front elevation. Now let's go and try this out. For example, I have um, some couple of objects here. I'm going to hit F, and here is the front elevation as you see up here. I'm going to move to top, press T, and here is the top. Go to P, and here's the perspective again okay guys now um some might ask um why vk and vr because the k has already been chosen for another shortcut okay so they have or they had to add the v bottom over here so it's uh it refers to view back elevation okay view right elevation so that's the explanation for it now that's everything for today's lesson guys the next one uh, will be about creating some uh, real objects and how to modify these objects hope it was enjoyable useful for you guys don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel and join our telegram channel in order to download um, this picture over here so it's be easy for you and a source to back to whenever you are hesitated now see you in another lesson